look at Pascal's triangle and combinations. Pascal's triangle, very, very straightforward. Uh, I could show it to a grade one. Number one up here, then the number one, the number one, then add those two together, two, one, one. Then add those two together, three, three, one, one. Then add those two together, four. Then add those two together, six. Then add those two together, four, one, 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 five, ten, ten, five, one, one, six, fifteen, twenty, fifteen, six, one. This is Pascal's triangle, and it's very, very useful uh, for combinations and some other things as well. So you might be thinking, how is that related to Pascal to uh, combinations? Let's take a look. All right, here, this is Pascal's triangle again. Here are all of the combinations that um, relate to Pascal's triangle. Let's just take a look at them. So zero C zero is one. One C zero is one. Uh, let's go down to here. Five choose three. Five choose three is ten. So you can actually find anything you want in terms of combinations just by drawing up a Pascal's triangle and then pointing at the right spot. Now, important to sort of note how we write this. So this is row zero. This is row one, row two, three, four, five. So it might look like there's six rows, but there's zero rows and then down to five. And once you've got the you want, which will tell you how many you cross that column, starting at five, choose zero, and then zero, one, two, three, four, five, choose five. So that's how we've got to read Pascal's triangle. So just remember everything at zero, the rows start at zero, and the columns also start at zero. All right, so um, handy little rule here, I guess, is that NCR, we've already got a rule for NCR, but here's another one. NCR is equal to N minus one CR minus one plus N minus one CR. Now that looks confusing, but what that really says is that NCR, let's choose an NCR, Let's choose one, um, use a different color. Okay, so this uh, bad choice. Let's choose this one here. That is equal to that plus that. And that's all that formula says. So the example here, given that 17C2 equals 136 and 17C3 equals 680, evaluate 18C3. So 18C3 is the uh, bit or the combination in Pascal's triangle that is below and between these two entries. So we just need to add them together, 816. Uh, that formula does it, but you can see fairly straightforward how Pascal's triangle makes that possible. Okay, um, that's pretty boring. That's just write down the n equals six row of Pascal's triangle, and then write down the value of c six c three. Uh, so they've written down the row, and then they've written down uh, six c zero, six c one, six c two. This is the one we want, six c three. Uh, the next bit is probably the only really new, exciting, interesting part of of this video, I suppose. All right, so we're talking about subsets of a set, subsets of a set. So Suppose your friend says to you, and I'm just reading straight off this bit here, I have five books that I no longer need, take any that you want. So you could choose to say, I don't want any of your books. I want just one of your books. Now, if you want one of the five books, that means you could choose the first book or the second book or the third book or the fourth book or the five book. So that means there's five different choices you could make there. Um, now we can go through all of those. Okay, I want two books I want the end one and the end one, or I want the two from the middle or whatever it might be. One way to figure this out is to say, okay, five choose zero, plus five choose one, plus five choose two, plus five choose three, plus five choose four, plus five choose five is 32. Now, if you look at Pascal's triangle, let's go all the way back up to the top here. This is row five, where all of those things are coming from. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. If you add those numbers together, you get 32. 
which is the answer that we had there. So that's all of the, we're calling this subsets of a set. That's all of the subsets of the five that you could possibly choose. You could choose zero set, zero books. You could choose all of the books. You could choose those two, those two, those three, those three. 32 are all of the possible subsets of the set that you could make. Faster way to do it. For each of the five books, we have two options, either accept or reject the book. Using the multiplication principle, we obtain the answer 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the 5, which is 32. So, interesting two points to make here. The sum of the entries in row N of Pascal's triangle is 2N. So, if you ask me um, the row, the 10th row of Pascal's triangle, um, 2 to the 10 will give me the answer to how many if I add up all those choices. Finally, a set of size n, in our case, five books, has 2 to the n, 2 to the 5 subsets, including the empty set, so including none of the books, and including the set itself, all of the books. So there's 32 different subsets of those books that you could have made. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at this question really quickly. Your friend offers you any of six books that she no longer wants. How many selections are possible, assuming that you take at least one book? Okay, so this is another one of those questions where it makes sense to go at it backwards. So find out how many there are in total. There's six books. So the total subsets that you could choose are two to the six but we're assuming that you take at least one book. So the answer is going to be 2 to the 6 minus 1 because we need to uh, subtract the empty set. We need to subtract the set where we don't choose any books. So the answer is 63 there. And finally, this is a bit more sort of esoteric, a bit more mathematical. How many subsets of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 have at least two elements? So our answer... Now I'm just going to do this one with my with my pen here. Our answer, now there's, there's 10 elements here. So total elements are 2 to the 10. But we need to have at least 2 elements. So we need to subtract the empty set, the one with no elements in it. But we also need to subtract the elements with 1. No, sorry, the subsets with 1 element. Uh, there's 10 objects, so there's 10 different one element sets. So we get 2 to the 10 minus 10 minus 1, which is 1000, 1013. Okay, so that's Pascal's triangle, first of all. Um, you should have learnt a couple of things about how that, that works, but probably the most important part of this video is the subsets of a set. You can add up those rows in the Pascal's triangle to find out how many subsets of a particular set you can get.